Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. I'm Nobu. And today we are going to be watching Nobody. So, um, this is from the writer of John Wick, I believe. Maybe some of the other people were involved in it as well. Um, it's another action movie. We're kind of back in the action movie grind. We just did the Equalizer too. So, I mean, there's nothing more satisfying than a man with great talents randomly killing people because they, you know, hit his trash cans or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is going to be great. Um, I've seen this movie. You haven't. I'm excited. So, as always, full interaction up with the Patreon. Next week's reaction to this movie here is going to be up for early access if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, hopefully you stick around. We would love to have you. And let's just get into Nobody. Do you know anything? Have you ever heard of this movie? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, this is great. It's even better. This is Bob Odenkirk. We'll, we'll probably see him when we watch Breaking Bad, but I love him as an actor. He's one of my favorite actors. Is that cat food? It looks like it. Or it could be just normal tuna. What's the difference? No, I'm <laughs> oh, there we go. That's just tuna. <laughs> now, what exactly is going on here? Who the fuck are you? Me? Um. <laughs> That's a dope title card. Relatable. I missed the garbage. <laughs> I love this editing. Yeah, living a fairly ordinary yeah. routine. What? I missed the garbage. My guy. Bro. Can't again? keep missing the garbage. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I think that's his wife, right? Uh -oh. Is home that invasion? Home invasion? Uh oh. That sounds like a home invasion. You don't have a gun? Uh, probably not. Oh, that's not good. A bat? Something? Gosh, bro, you're being loud. Not that I want to give them advice on robbing or anything, but like they're being really loud. There we go. I like how we. Oh. Put the phone down. We don't want any trouble. Your money. Cash. But that's about all there is. Jeez, this is. That's it? Super I use a debit card. <laughs> what about his watch? Is this worth something? To me, it is. Take Come it. on, really? Oh. What was that? Uh, it's a tattoo. Give me your ring. Give me your fucking ring. Oh! Wait, what? Dude, it's the freaking sun! Why? No! no. Holy crap! These people do not seem. What? Yeah, just let him go. I said let him go. Ooh. Hey! Please stop! Just take what you want to go, please. Just shut up! Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get out of here. Baby, let's go! Oh, fucking house. Fuck I mean, that was, it's the less cinematic, but that was maybe the smart thing to do. Yeah, you should never, you should never do that. What the fuck, Dad? My beautiful wife, beautiful kids, my home broken into with the freaking demands. Hmm. So that's how they got in, huh? Using a pizza box and the golf club? Did you even take a swing? Could have taken her, Dad. Dang, bro. Look, you did the right thing, Mr. Mansell. What is this nonsense? Like, why are <laughs> I mean, they... look, it's understandable that his son would feel like that. You know, if that yeah. was my family. So, like this cop, like, that's such stupid advice. We're gonna get out of your hair. You just leave that garage door closed, okay? Mm. I mean, you you would understand how he, where he's coming from, or not the cop, but like the dad too, though. Like like that that does feel yeah pathetic. Regardless of what what is smart or not, it does feel like oh, I can't like it's very violating to get uh, robbed. Actually, you know what I mean? So it's like oh, I can't protect my family. I can't. Yeah, yeah. Of course, it's easy gonna feel a certain way. Dang. Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, kiddo. You couldn't sleep? No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you scared? Why would I be? You're here. Yeah. They're really laying in hard on him. The script writer. Dad. Yeah? We need a cat. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. A cat? <laughs> That's what he had in the opening, right? I mean, I'd be thinking about needing a dog. Like, <laughs> you know, Sam? <sighs> Dang, bro, what is this uh, like the- dude. Is that a timer? Bro, I swear this guy does it on purpose now. <laughs> Dang. 
So uh, I have to do a report on a veteran. Maybe we could just interview you. Yeah, sure. I was an auditor, so kind of a nobody. What about your Uncle Charlie? He was a real soldier. Oof. I didn't mean. Oh, your mom's right. I actually already left him a message. That's right, Grandpa. You missed the garbage. Oh, I took on the coffee. Have a good day. You too. This just sucks. <laughs> At least the daughter's being reasonable. Of course. <laughs> Heard you had some excitement last night. Yeah, it was just... Uh, Man, I wish they'd have picked my place, you know? Bro. Could've used the exercise. Get out of here. <laughs> That's new. In the old man croak. The 72 Challenger, 4.9 liter V8, 0 to 60, and I'm about to find the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, my man has to, I, I guess at the Metro, I didn't think about it, but he's got to take the freaking bus to work. What do we got, a rat or a possum? I don't know. So, good morning, Charlie. Did I hear right? <laughs> Depends who you talk to. Did everyone hear? Well, your boy called. Is this the, yeah, uh, you heard right. The uncle? Yeah. Now, he says you had the drop on one of them. I was just trying to keep damage to a minimum. Yeah, how's that working out for you? Everybody's safe, so. Jesus. What the? What? Dude. Holy. All right. <laughs> Safety's on. <laughs> yeah, but, but bro, what are you doing? He's so, a freaking so, janitor oh bringing like the gun to work. <laughs> There's nothing that turns out the lights right quick like a fucking bullet to the brain, man. Uh, uh, yes. They, I don't want it. It's the principle of need. So keep my sister safe, bro. I mean, I do agree. You should have a gun or I something. Mean, yeah. But like, did you have like, has he used it? Hopefully nobody needs to like yeah, be, a, be, from be a little freezer. careful. Wait, that's a little dangerous, bro. What if like one of the kids like, oh my gosh, this is a little scary. Come on, man. I take it Becca called you. She did. All right, I'm thinking you did the best thing you could. I mean, you being you. What does that mean? <laughs> Let's talk about you want to buy this place. You really want to get rid of me and Charlie that bad? Hey, you have family. I just want you to enjoy your retirement and Charlie his youth. <laughs> it's a fair offer. But not a great one. Look, I built this place up from nothing with my hands. If I'm going to sell it, I want it to be a goddamn great offer. Yeah, but what kind of place is it, dude? What do you want with this place anyway? Guess I just want something that's mine, you know? I do. Hey, Hutch, I'm rooting for you. Dang, bro. This is my man's about to have a villain arc. That's interesting, you know? Like, I mean, it's 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 kind of real in a certain sense, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't even know how much the... I don't think any of these people mean badly by it either. I think it's just kind of like slipping out because that's the kind of person he is or they think he is. Sounded good. How long you been listening? <laughs> long enough to know you're getting mighty good at that. When you're officially dead, you got a lot of free time on your hands, you know? Rough life. Yep. So tell me about last night. Word travels fast, huh? Look, if they know, I know, you know? There were two of them, a man and a woman. Tattoo. Desperate. She had a gun. What kind? It was an old 38 special. It had electrical tape on the handle, so Smith and Wesson. Dang, bro, he figured all that out. Hadn't been shot in a long while. It was, uh... Empty? Empty. Huh. Now I know why you didn't do what you didn't do. It's like he almost took pity on them. What they get? Not much. Yeah. Just a couple. Bucks. And also, if you freaking killed them, you might. You guys might be the ones. ones. <laughs> yeah. Charges pushed against you. I know what you're thinking about, and I wish you wasn't. Don't do nothing stupid. You hear me? Hmm. It's interesting though. It's 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 kind of like I like kind of delving into that idea of like true strength is like having the ability and not and like controlling yourself anyway. Kind of. Yeah. Well, it's like that is and 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 it's very easy for people to be like, oh, you know, you weren't manly enough or whatever. But like, hey, Dad, that is that is. You been eaten? Also, he clearly is like somebody. Like, yeah. <laughs> Such a it's weird thing. Dog Brown, dude. Oh, is it? Yeah. You okay? I'm okay. You don't look okay. Do you remember who he used to be, Hachi? <laughs> I do. I feel so bad for this guy, dude. This just sucks. And it's like he has the dream, so to speak. He just doesn't hey, buddy. have kind of the respect. How was school? Fine. Hi, yes, sweetheart. Yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's a suck situation, the fact that he even has to try to prove it. Or something. Of course, like, so it is weird. kind of yes. I can't what it was. find it. Well, you can't find what? My kitty cat bracelet. Where was it? 
in here. They couldn't have stolen that, would they? Uh oh. Yeah, I'm sure it'll turn up somewhere. He's gonna do something stupid. What kind of gun is that? I don't know. I didn't get a good look at him. Maxwell's who? <laughs> hey, Pop. There's this thing I gotta do. <sighs> this is... How do you best go do it? <laughs> this is interesting. It is interesting. How's he gonna find them? I don't know. I mean, whoever he was talking to on the radio, right? Maybe yeah. they have some sort of connection. Like information. Keep in mind, I think I think Bob Odenkirk is a little bit older, but he did all the I think he did most of his stunt work and stuff for this movie, which is cool. Oh, he like really? got in okay. shape and legitimately like cool. trained to do this sort of movie. Which I think is super cool. That's always admirable. Especially when I, you're older. You know I, what I mean? Yeah, That's yeah. a lot harder to do. It's a lot oh, harder. It's way, harder. way a lot harder than all of it. And it's like you don't need to a lot of times. Yeah. Oh, my job. <laughs> yeah, I like that he's still kind of being smart about it. That's a smart idea to go to the tattoo places, too. I wouldn't have thought of that. I still think it's very going to be very hard without some help, you know, to find these random people. FBI. <laughs> I'm looking for old. What? <laughs> Your ID is a badge. Expired by about 20 years. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that ain't you in the photo. Oh, great. Are these so Who are you? Oh. Oh gosh, bro. It's like some sort of group or something. I was looking for someone. All right, all right. Well, uh, you probably shouldn't flash cheese like that around here, bro. There are three types of people who, as you say, flash cheese. <laughs> People who don't know any better, people who are seeking to intimidate, and people like me who wish that someone would try to take it from them. <laughs> oh, what is that? That's his tattoo. Uh, but what tattoo is that? Thank you for your service. You too, old timer. Is he part of some sort of special maybe SF group or something? <laughs> See how he's gonna handle this. Yeah. Please, I come in. Oh, it's 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 them. Yeah, it probably is. Shoot. But maybe he isn't gonna go after them because they like maybe you know the other guy was like, oh mate, that's why he didn't do it in the first place. Please. So it's like I feel like he has some semblance of mercy on these two. Yeah. But this could turn anymore? out bad, right? Because oh, oh. pulling a Batman move right there. Ooh. You know why I'm here. Because I'm a good man to watch. They probably. Oh, I thought she pawned it. Maybe it wasn't worth a minute. Yeah, bracelet. Give me the goddamn kitty cat bracelet, motherfucker! Oh, leave it! Oh, gosh, bro. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Shoot, bro. And he didn't get the kitty cat bracelet. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. We might have gotten involved in something a little bit bigger. Holy! What the heck was that? Oh, are these guys just drunk? Okay, they weren't following him, probably. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think you would run into something like that on purpose. <laughs> Great. Uh oh. This is not a good group. Great. They say God doesn't close one door without opening another. <laughs> Please, God, open that door. <laughs> I like how he's just looking for some way to, to beat take out down. Like, his rage almost, yeah. but in a way that's not like immoral. You know what I mean? Like, he yeah. Kind of has this, well, he wants an excuse. Kind he of wants like. an excuse, but like. You know, he had a good excuse with those other people, right? It's like, I do think he has kind of like a moral compass, but he also has this like beast inside. Dang, bro. Oh, great. Come on, bro. Now's your time to shine. He's like, finally. This girl's gonna get home safe tonight. I hope these assholes like hospital food. <laughs> this poor bus driver. A girl alone on a bus at night. It's stupid, hey. right? 
guys. What are you still doing here, old man? Base here to beat the crap out of you. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Ooh, it's been a minute. <laughs> Dang. Oh. I like how he's taking hits. Ooh. 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 Dang. Oh, jeez. Oh, sorry, buddy. This is so real feeling. Oh gosh. Dang. Oh, holy. Slama <laughs> nose. What the fuck are you saying? No nose is broken. Holy. It's bad. Fuck. Man, are you? Round two, baby. Run! Thank you. <laughs> oh, holy. Oh, gosh. He's just going lethal now. Yeah, he, he might get in trouble for this baby. Yeah, he might. Oh, dang, he's killing him with a purse. Oh, shoot, bro. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, is he gonna save him? Oh, oh, gosh, 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 gosh. He is. Yeah, with the straw. That's brutal. I hate that. I hate that. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> he's such an interesting guy. Yeah, he's a little crazy. I'll say he that. He is a little crazy. I I'm worried that he's gonna get big time trouble for that. I hope that nothing. Cause he's already in a shaky kind of position. Yeah, with his and this is kind family. of like a semi-realistic take on stuff, you know. Hey, couldn't sleep. Where'd you go? I just took the bus. Yeah, it's been a hell of a day. I can see that. Just like old times, huh? <laughs> <coughs> got stabbed. Yeah, he did get stabbed. It's a bad wound. I miss you. I'm right here, Hutch. I'm always right here. And she knows. Because, like, apparently, whatever their family was doing, I don't know. I was thinking. About what? About oh, yeah, she really knows what she's doing. Back up. We haven't shared a kiss in a, I don't know. We haven't had sex in months. You seem so far away. Yeah. I miss you. Remember who we used to be? <laughs> I do. That's interesting. I mean, I want to know what. Who yeah, I'm kind of curious. Like, what, what does that mean? It's. I just. I like exploring the 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 reality of like. Look, it's like things can be you know too normal to the point where it's like these things take work. It takes work to keep a relationship alive. It takes work to stay in love. It you know. Yeah. It's not just a win. Who the heck is All right, this? So who did we beat up? Oh, I'm sure. We... Oh, you guys are. What the heck? This guy's big business, whoever he is. Dang, this place is sick. What a perfect intro to this character. <laughs> like. <laughs> and judging by how badly he's dancing and singing, people are just going along with this because he's huge. <laughs> I mean, I thought his dancing was pretty good. What did you do, bro? Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, so he's not even the top dog, he just he's in the upper. I mean he's still pretty high up. Oh gosh, what the, what the, what the, Dang. holy, 
Oh my gosh. Okay, this guy's crazy. Oh, bro, great. It's gonna be like his son yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh, that's literally what it is. Oh, great. All right, this guy is... Oh, brother, okay. Oh, no. Will he walk again? We are monitoring his vitals, but the damage to his brain is... Oh, no. Oh, and it has nothing to do with it. Oh, holy! <laughs> Who did this to my brother? There was a man. He attacked us unprovoked. One man! Are you fucking with me? No, sir. No, sir. Don't you lie to me! Oh! Dude, this, this poor guy got like the worst of it. I'm not lying to you, I swear. Julian, please don't get more mad. <laughs> you hate it, Teddy. Your words may be correct, but they are no less unwise. Hmm. How can I find this man? Oh. Damn. <laughs> I like the like odd note of comedy that this movie has. Yeah. Well, it, it's it got a little bit of a style to it. Or it something. does, you know but like not. It's not just like a rip off of John Wick. It's its own thing, and I mm -hmm. like that. You know what I mean? Because there's been so many industry rip offs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy, that looks. Dope. Morning. Morning. Happened to you. <laughs> Daddy looks like shit. You should see the other guys. When you made that tackle, that was a good takedown. You had my back. And I'm proud of you. Dang. Morning. Morning. See, but he also has his own issues. Like, of course. He he needed to almost get that confidence, you know, in order to say that. How did it feel? <laughs> like salvation. I'm happy that your relapse make you feel so good, but man, you got a fucking problem. Yeah. One of those guys was the brother of Yuli and Kuznetsov, and you don't want to fuck with him much. Ask the barber, he knows. There was an isolated incident. Yuli Kuznetsov, ask the barber. Who was that? Bro, what are you Just doing, a bro? Of ours? Hey, I have an idea. How about I make that lasagna that you love tonight? You know, from scratch. He's being very, um, naive, like. I don't know if it's naive. I think it's just, it's, it's, it, this is his midlife crisis. You know what I mean? And that's really what it is. And it's because he has a past, this is how he's acting out. And he's not acting out by, you know, buying a freaking car. But I mean, like, it's just so strange that he's not taking this any serious, or any more serious. Cause it's like, bro. I love this barber already, man. One of these days, I want to go to a real barbershop and get a shave just because it's so sick. Gentlemen. Mr. Oh. Mansell, it has been some time. That it is. What can you tell me about Yulian Kuznetsov? <laughs> Am I really now that predictable? Everyone is a short story long. He's as bad as they come. A connected, funded sociopath. Great. Have you got any hobbies? Flex off to the tune of eight and nine figures. Whew. If he doesn't know who you are yet, he will soon. What have you got for me? I found his dad. He's got him at the nursing home downtown. Oh, no. Your man here looks to be as vanilla as they come. If you can't recognize a wolf in sheep's clothing, my questions imply ability of your employment here. I have a friend at the Pentagon. What? I'll keep looking. One blackmail package coming up. Uh oh. Great. Fuck. <laughs> what? Oh. And if he can't oh. take care of a loose oh. end like you, it has Dang, to yeah, see, he must have been like, sure. like something. He must have been like some special forces, like, yeah. assassination squad. Yeah. Think of it like the 401k of the Russian mob. Hundreds of millions of dollars in cash, perpetually on the move. And Union is the current babysitter. So he's got power. Just a little more time. He's more than a bit weary of this life. I think if he had his way, he'd probably walk away. We do open the up shack. <laughs> yeah, he's, he doesn't want he, to deal with that anymore. He'd walk away and go kill other people randomly. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to manually go through this stuff? Whoa. Ooh. 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 Wait, he literally is. But, like, they're redacting all his stuff. Yeah, but now she knows he's somebody. No need to pay. 
After you saw that, that's May I interest good. you in this wine? Yes, please. Uh, I am also interested. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. <laughs> nice try. How about we all head to Italy this summer? We've always talked about going back. Oh, I'd love that. Can we afford it? I mean, if you could afford to buy the company. The real question is, can we afford not to? That would be wonderful. Because, yeah. you know, Rome is my mom and dad. Dude, we're not taking proper precautions, man. Oh. Oh. Dude. Go out and meet them, maybe? Really? Like, that's the only thing I can think of. Everybody get to the basement. Right now! <laughs> I mean, he's not being stupid. <laughs> he still kind of is, but. Don't call 911. Ooh. You guys are so screwed. Does he have any weapons? Does he still have one, uh, like, Smith Wesson or whatever, right, still? I wonder if he has any, well. I mean, I guess he could, right? He might. He had that weird button panel thing, so yeah. he probably has more things. Ooh. Oh, wait. Holy he has a bat. <laughs> what a badass. Dude, he's freaking taking him down with a... Dang. Get their guns. Oh. You're so dead. Dude, this guy's legit Batman. Like, he's like government Batman. Oh. Alright, now we gotta go. Now we gotta go. Oh! Not anymore. Kill him with the lasagna, bro. Oh. Ooh, there we go. Straight up, he killed him with the freaking lasagna. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> oh, shit. So much for getting him alive. Ooh. Shoo. Oh, no. Jeez. I mean, he kicked butt, but there was like 10 of them. Dude, we messed up. What about the family? <laughs> but I mean, this will kind of lead us to the big issue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, big problems. But what is he going to take down this huge guy? Oh gosh, don't have to do it. Okay. He can open the trunk from inside. Really? Yeah. Work yeah, all of them have that now. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> what the what heck? are we going for? <laughs> Ooh! Wait, that's sick! Trying to crash? Dang. <laughs> Whoa. Are you okay? I mean, we wouldn't have gone through anything. Okay. Are they? I imagine they're dead or close to dead. Hopefully they don't communicate with me. Oh gosh, yeah, he's really dead. She got stabbed with a knife again. Jeez. Oh. oh, that's horrible. I never met a black Russian before. Yeah. I get that a lot. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Nobody. Short story long. Um, I used to be what they call an auditor for oh. those three letter agencies. That's what he did in the military. The last guy in the organization wants to see at their door. I couldn't arrest anyone, so I used to make sure that there was no one left to her. <laughs> well, he heard a long story or short story long. <laughs> That's what he heard. I'm glad he told us though. Yeah. Get ready to get back, bro. Dang. Bro, I love how he's like straight up in like jeans and like a sweater too. Yeah. It's just it makes it somehow more badass. It escalated. Heads up, okay? Freaking Hutch. Dude, he's probably hyped, bro. It's, it gets boring for him in that nursing home. What do you do, though, now? You can't just be like, okay, kids, come on out. It's all okay now. Freaking decapitated bodies. <laughs> bro, the, the lasagna's fine, though, man. He only messed up one plate. Shoot. 
I'm assuming there's no like special cleaning service that we can call with the gold coins. Hell. Oh my gosh, what are we doing here? <laughs> you wanted me to fight back, son? <laughs> How about this? <laughs> Shoot. Not only can your dad fight bad, he is a, like, psycho killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, yes. Oh my gosh. Come on, you gotta give me something. <laughs> I will, but not now. I need to take care of this. What is this? Yeah, you kind of got it him is. into this mess, bro. Yeah, you, like, gotta, you gotta tell your wife. What it is. This it is what it is. me. I love you, but I need you to trust me. Okay, blind for the last time. I promise. Come back. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that she like already has like an idea yeah, or something. Yeah, right? it is. I'll take the kids somewhere safe. I like how she snaps into action though. Yeah, it, She's that's like, very uh, survive, and I'll, I'll, you know, then we'll talk. Uh, that's Fight, refreshing. Whatever. It's it's a little bit refreshing it is. Compared yeah, it's to not most. the like, honey, who did I marry? That like you know. Whatever. Yeah, that type the of regular feel. like narrative. That's cool, and then she just understands. She just does what she needs to do. Is there cleaning tunes? <laughs> Imagine. Was square. Got gold bars. Well, he got gold bars instead of gold coins. What are we gonna have to do here? Well, fellas, here we are. <laughs> I know your boss said you here, but you gotta know when to say no. A couple of chapters back, uh, there was this guy named Alan. Okay. Skimmed about three million bucks from a U.S. military base in Revolto, Italy, and his prize was me looming over him with a Walter PPK. No, oh, wait. Uh, it was uh, suppressed. The HK. Walter <laughs> uh -huh. And he started begging like they all do, and I usually pulled the trigger before the waterworks began, but this time I listened. I heard a man who wanted nothing more than to shed his wolf skin and return to the pasture as a lamb. I quietly let Alan go. Okay. Really? A year later, I went back to check on him, fully expecting to find him back onto the fold. Really? Alan was living in Boise, Idaho. He had a wife. She came with two kids. They had another on the way. They had a dog. Dang. He was working nine to five. That's actually really, really, that's actually that really is, surprising. That is surprising. <laughs> Motherfucker! I am not a jealous guy. <laughs> But in that moment, I wanted what Alan had. So I told my bosses I was out of the game. I gave it my all. It was better than I expected. But now I might have uh, back overcorrected. But sneaky devil. Fucking kitty cat bracelet. Fun fact, bone burns to ash at 1500 degrees. And this basement is designed to double that. So they won't be finding you among the rubble. Is the basement? Deep down, I always knew it was a facade. It lasted a lot longer than I expected. That's really interesting. It is interesting. I see trees of green. Is it burning everything? Damn. I guess so. I'm just thinking, like, what is his idea now? Like, is he saying that he's giving up this life? I don't know. We're just living more, like, honestly. Like himself. going back to it or something? I don't know. I don't really see how you could, but yeah, to be honest. Yeah, I think that. Because it takes a very special kind of person to do a job like that. And those people aren't family people generally. I just, yeah. Well, I just, I don't know about what his family's going to think, like, exactly. <laughs> Bro, just like, what are the neighbors going to think? They're going to think, call 911. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh -oh. He's still with it. <laughs> Four point nine liter V eight. He said zero to sixty, and I'm about to find the fuck out. Goodness. I mean, come on. That car, that plot line, that neighbor was there just to take the car. <laughs> uh oh. I mean, this is their only lead now. Man's gonna have a whole shotgun ready and waiting. Uh, oh. Oh, oh. oh, oh, that's exactly what you said, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, Davey, please turn that shit down. <laughs> yeah, he didn't kill him. D yeah, no, he's I mean, he'll be dead soon, but yeah, that's true. he got his insides uh, blown out by a shot. Like what? Like two feet away? 
Yeah, it runs in the family. Uh, yeah, what place. about the other guy? What? That's my offer. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Well, hold on a minute. I get a say in this. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, like, no, these gold bars say differently. We put our blood, sweat, and tears you into this place. Oh, you didn't do jack. Listen to your father. Right Ooh. Breathe deep, okay? There you go. That's it. <laughs> but what am I gonna do? I don't give a shit. <laughs> do you? <laughs> He's like, dude, teach my son a lesson here. like that. <laughs> I got you. Three unidentified bodies were found dead in a suspicious car accident last night on Route 34. Oops. Oh. Some more. Oh gosh. Uh -oh. It's all out war. Okay. That's good. At least he's saving these people. <laughs> okay, this is a little light. like home. Yeah. <laughs> but rated R. <laughs> Get yourself shot. That's gonna solve everything. They came after my family. They came at dad. I know. Who the fuck you think? Yeah, see, it's the other one. Because <laughs> he was in the picture. Yeah. Okay, I was wondering who that was. Oh, gosh. Is he attacking them? What? That's so gutsy. I mean, that might work. Dude. Holy. <laughs> I mean, that's smart, but it's also like, it's super crazy. Yeah, it's also, I'm also worried about like, if you might get on other people's bad sides, you know, not just him. Of course. Cause that's a lot of money. <laughs> Holy, that's <laughs> sick. And yeah, this movie does have style. Bro, you wouldn't be singing like this if you knew what was happening. <laughs> Damn. Is he just gonna torch the entire place? And all the money. Yeah. Oh my god. Come on, you're not gonna take any of it? Come on, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a waste. Like, I know it looks cool in the movie, but like, pack it a few stacks, please. Yeah, like, pocket a few stacks. Like, I know. Please pay for Bro. your kid's college. Yeah, your, your, your <laughs> wife will definitely be willing to overlook a few more you know, things. You do need you. a new house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Be like, honey, you know, I got a few green stacks here. Will you be willing to forgive me? <laughs> oh my gosh. The power play. He's like, finally, there's somebody more psychopathic than me. Mr. Mansell. Hey. <laughs> Enjoy the meal. Yeah. I came for the show. Yeah, I burned the billion dollars you had. You have some nerve to be here like this. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> that was a really cool shot. Ooh. No. Let's say you and I have a moment. <laughs> we did you share. Hmm. That was well played. What are we gonna do? What, I what have do we no want? No like, freaking idea. I feel like this guy's never gonna leave you alone now that you took his money. Yeah. Not that he would have before, but yeah. That's why it's kind of like I don't blame him because he was already kind of all in once he fought back. Now, on the one hand, there's a long dormant piece of me that wants so very badly to play this out. The other, more reasonable piece of me, would like to end our little tete a tete right now. <laughs> After all, we can both rebuild, right? Uh, wait, I do? Mm. I burned it. <laughs> oh, dude, he's gonna lose his mind. What? Everything you have, had, everything you had. My God. I'm shot! This doesn't make us even, because after all, you came to my house, which you know you don't fucking do! I mean, it's kind of awesome, though. You killed my brother. The last I saw, he was still breathing. And based on what little I know of the man, that's probably more than he deserved. And you would probably agree. Not that this entire situation is about being reasonable. Now, you could come after me. And if you succeed in taking me down, you're still obligated to refinance the entire op shack. Can you? Do you even want to? <laughs> because I've heard that you want out. What better time than right now? Let's both quit. All right, you got a nest egg. I mean, besides for what's still smoldering. Oh, I'm sure he does. Get some work done. Maybe uh, open a tiki bar and live your life far from me and mine. Think it over. I'll be nearby. Mm. I mean, look, that's a decent proposition. You know what I mean? As far as as far as propositions go, that's not a bad one. Yeah, I mean, he might 
it, there's actually a chance that he might do he that. He might, especially because he wants out. Which, yeah. to give this character credit, Hutch credit, like, he probably was considering all of that when he went and did this. But then again, it's like, will other people let him out, right? You know what I'm saying? No, but they're not going to let him out regardless, whether he kills him or not. He doesn't have the money. He's not going to reimburse him. No, like, the I'm object thing about, is the thing no matter what. I'm talking about the uh, Russian dude. You know what I'm saying? I know, but I'm saying he gets nothing from doing stuff to him. Ooh. <laughs> I like how he's crossing his fingers because he wanted him to come. Yeah. I think that's good. That's such an interesting character moment. To that guy, he's probably very narcissistic. Can't handle that's it. Sick. Oh, bro, he's coming after us himself. I kind of respect that. He's crazy, dude. <laughs> This is not the same bus. Please tell me it's not the same bus. Yeah. All these poor bus drivers. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, that was so sick. This is so sick. Holy. <laughs> oh, the shot. Oh. That was so sick. This sequence was really cool. Take him to the freaking place, dude. Here we go. <laughs> I like how he took the painting. Yeah, there's no rips in it. Oh, bro. Oh. Oh, yeah. When you thought it wasn't a family film. <laughs> I choose to believe this is just how Christopher Lloyd is armed. I tried to retire the thing, but god damn it, I'll see you. If I didn't miss this shit. <laughs> Dang. These guys don't know what's coming. Whoa. <laughs> That's so sick. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh. Dang. This guy's good with a rifle. Ooh, that was sick. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Triple kill. Oh, gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Prepare for takeoff. Oh. That was so sick. That's cool. It's smart that he used shotgun shells too, because the spray is kind of yeah. bound to catch somebody. Like it's not just like movie BS. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Whoa. Whoa. The <laughs> Oof. Family. Can you imagine what Thanksgiving is like with these people? <laughs> Oh shoot, bro, watch out! Oh, oh, that's a sick camera shot. I love that. That guy came with a freaking wrench. <laughs> this guy, dude. Oh shoot. Dang, this guy's a good shot. Maybe he's just not a bad shot like they are in every action movie. To be ordered all down, you got soon with Mr. Mansell, and your family will pay the price. Uh-oh. What's he doing? What's the fuck you doing, man? Everybody dies. Some sooner than others. Oh my gosh. Ooh. You're insane. He's video gaming <laughs> it. <laughs> oh! Just a bit excessive. 
That oh, was really glorious. good. Though. It got excessive. Glorious, my ass. <laughs> Thank you. But I don't sound too good. Get out of here. All right, I got this. Well, Hachi, you both got what you wanted. <laughs> now I got shot. <laughs> Dude, I like the brother. Bro, he's going to go back to the nursing home and just be like, doo, doo, doo. Yeah. I know there's two dead guys on my carpet, but. No, they got cleaned up, remember? Because. Uh, oh, that's right. The brother came. What are you going to do? Like, is he going. Oh. The wife? Hi, this is Rebecca Mansell. Is that the cat? Becca, it's me. I owe you everything. Thanks for letting me pretend I was someone else. If you give me another chance, I'll try to get it right this time. I love you. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Me, I'm um, nobody. That ain't much of an answer. Trust me, it's the answer It's enough. literally on the file. That's rich. Yeah. Yeah, what? <laughs> I got a call from the president. I mean, probably. <laughs> right this way, we've got the beautiful dining room. It's been recently renovated to have a brighter look. Dang, bro. He's back with him. Sorry. Private pond. Yes. Yeah. That's for you. Uh, uh oh. It's me. Hutch here. Does this house have a uh... a basement? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Definitely a very different feeling like movie. It was like it had its own unique style to it. Yes. Like the the way that it was edited at times, yes. The soundtrack, um, yes. The type of action, for sure. Like the overall vibe of the movie was, um, you know, very different from your standard um, kind of like action movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even though it was a kind of like a, um, you know, I don't know. Like it's almost like these movies are almost like their own genre. Where it's like the one guy. This kind was of kind like, of different, though. This this was, I actually think, very unique compared to a lot of those movies. And yeah, like but you that. would still put it in the same category. Yeah, it's kind of like the one man. It's it's. I don't even know. It's like the modern day cowboy. The one man or army kind genre. Of like, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. But it it was interesting. Um, I will say that there were a few times where there were a lot of moments that I really liked. Yeah. Um, and there were a lot of interesting concepts and um, like very refreshing ideas. Like, for example, the wife not being a sort of like dramatic um, part of it where it's like, oh, you know, yeah. that sort of like mystery. Sure. And having sure, to sure, like sure. deal with that. Right. Um, I like that she was a lot more like. And I'm not I don't have anything against the other. No, but we've seen it before. Type of character. Definitely yeah. I just want to see something different for once. Even the protagonist. Right. Cool. It's like I liked how he wasn't your john wick he wasn't your you yeah know, even like liam neeson like oh i'm a man with talent like he wasn't that it, he was different it, it really was and maybe this was the elevator pitch i wouldn't be surprised it really was midlife crisis meets john wick kind of yeah yeah uh which is kind of amazing and and it was kind of serious but also not too serious yeah i will say it's that not like super realistic which is a little bit hard because i do think that there are times where it does try to be so the it, it goes back and forth a little bit to where then at least my brain is a little bit kind of like that. Ah, why would you do that? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah. So when maybe it shouldn't. Yeah. Like there, like I said, there was a lot of things that I liked about this movie. Um, but I will say that overall it, I wasn't really vibing with it as much. Okay. Um, I think that kind of like you were talking about the kind of clash between like the serious side and then the humor side sometimes yeah. felt a little bit like um <laughs> i kind of liked it it was very dark it was dark but also i feel like they could have done it better like there they were times where it's right. like you know it, it was almost like they went halfway into like a serious topic but then kind of like made it a little more jokey yeah and so because this could have been to... a very serious movie weirdly even if you had some dope action scenes about yeah. like this man like taking back his life. It's almost like my brain was like trying to figure out where to kind of settle. Like, mm. am that I supposed sense. to take certain things seriously or not? You know, whereas like makes sense. if there's a movie that's very like dark humor, like um, you know, for example, like some of the Tarantino movies, yeah. I'm a lot more like, okay, like I that's what I'm more called. like like that. You know what I'm saying? Whereas here it's a little bit more like it's almost like at times like 
it switched mm. to a different feel. Mm. Even if they weren't like exactly going for it, it did feel like that. You know, like yeah. there was some dramatic elements where it was like, oh, this could get pretty serious. Like, sure. But then it was almost like very over the top. Um, how should I say? Like, you know, brutal at times. And then like, you know, you know what I'm saying? That humor. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and so I feel like at times it was, it was like clashing a little bit too much. And so it, it was hard for me to really get into it, you know. Um, I really liked the idea of him like having that fault and kind of playing into it yeah, and not being so like not making it a very, that's where I feel like it kind of clash. I feel like they could, should have made it a little more like not as serious, like that kind of like, Oh yeah, I understand. It's a, it's a tough thing, but I do think that, I actually think for me more, it was actually the action that that threw me because yeah, I, I liked the well. action, but but especially that first bus scene, it was like very brutal. There was no music, which was cool, right? And it felt mm -hmm. kind of very real. He was taking hits and stuff, and I liked that. Even like after he beat the crap out of them, they still were like able to get up. Like he didn't like kill them or something in two moves or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But then, so I feel like stuff like that threw me sometimes. Gotcha, gotcha. Because then you had some of the other action that wasn't, or like, oh, he's just like blowing up the house now, or stuff like, or like stuff with the bomb at the end a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can get that as well. Because I almost think you could have pulled off the serious kind of like struggle and character flaw while also having it be a little bit over the top, and it would have worked. I almost feel like because there was like a few things that were a little bit off in tone, tonal consistency, maybe. Yeah, possibly. That, that, that it kind of just gave an overall feel of just being a little bit off. Even though, like, it, weirdly, I liked it in moments. And I liked Bob Odenkirk. And I like I really liked the idea. And even, like, different scenes and stuff like that. It just feels a little off as far as, like, like I don't know what to feel. Like, that ending is such a great ending, but I don't quite know what to feel about that. Yeah, it's just that, like, at times, like, for example, like, that scene after the bus thing. And then he goes back and then he's, like, more confident in himself. Like that type of storytelling, you could get into a really serious and they it's almost like they kind of were. Of and like, even the like home invasion that they did that like very seriously. Yeah. Like, making like, it the like way that happened and how realistic it was. Yeah. Like his struggle almost. Right. Like with being instead of him being confident. like, no, I don't want to do this. Like if they had almost made it a little bit less like that, then I feel like the ending would be like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. A little more doing, like, oh, instead yeah, of me being I'm... like, oh, my gosh, your poor children. Which yeah. is like, I know I shouldn't think, but like is where my head goes a little bit. Yeah. Because it started off a little bit more of a serious tone yeah and then it really switched up into like you know freaking <laughs> doom <laughs> like we're <laughs> we're just kicking butt no, but i but still kind of like overall the I, I thought it was fine um i like the style of the movie yeah the style was and i kind of like the humor actually yeah the humor the humor like I, i'm fine with that type of humor it's just that like it's hard for me sometimes to like get into that like groove sure uh that makes sense no but yeah it you know i i liked it overall yeah yeah, so I mean, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, as always, Full Length Rash is going to be up with the Patreon. The next week's reaction to this movie here is going to be up for early access if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, hopefully you stick around. And if you do, we will see you all in the next video.